Around 400 people are expected to sleep in cardboard boxes on the streets of Birmingham tonight to raise awareness of homelessness. It's the 25th anniversary of the big sleep out at St Basil's in Digbeth. And Anjana Gadgill is there for us now. Anjana. Hi Nick. Yes, there's music playing, the fire's burning and people are building cardboard houses to sleep in tonight. They're hoping that at least 414 people will make it to sleep here this evening. Now, uh, Jean Templeton, you're the CEO of St Basil's. Why 414? Because 414 mirrors the numbers of young people who are sleeping in our accommodation every night quite safely. And for how many people is how many people struggle with the issue of homelessness here in Birmingham? Well, we particularly work with young people. So for young people aged 16 to 21, nearly 4,000 every year are coming to us for assistance. Most of those we can prevent, but there's an awful lot that we need more good quality, safe accommodation for. OK, thank you, Jean. Now, Councillor Sharon Thompson, you were homeless when you were a teenager. How did you go from there to here? St Basil's invested in me and that just gave me a put a roof over my head and that helped me to find my, my voice and actually stand up for things that I believed in and that was the footing that set me off to where I am now. And what was it like for you as a teenager being homeless? It was difficult, but also the fact that we had somebody there that would support us, give us that encouragement, help us to find life skills, and that voice helped us immensely. Now, tonight, how are you going to stay warm? Well, lots of layers, good company, and the atmosphere here is absolutely fantastic, so I'm sure we'll have a laugh at the same time. Are you actually going to get any sleep? I doubt it. Well, as you can probably see, Nick, it is a bit more of a party atmosphere than you expect, than an authentic rough sleeping experience. But crucially, it's raising awareness and it's raising money for a very good cause. You should come down and sleep here yourself. And Jana Gagil, thank you. Reporting there from Digbeth in Birmingham. It's approaching 17 minutes to seven. This is our top story tonight.